on the YouTube Trilili channel. Now, I'm with a beautiful female resort person who is a student majoring in English at the Sriwijaya State Polytechnic Palembang. Hello! Let's just get started. Well, it's coincidence that today we will discuss tourism in the city of Palembang. What is the Bintang response to tourism in the city of Palembang? Okay, talking about tourism in the city of Palembang, Palembang city has a number of tourism potential, and namely historical tourism, shopping tourism, religious tourism, and etc. And for religious tourism, Marl Island is always crowded with thousands of people Chinese with um listen to celebrate the New Year of Chinese uh, because there is a Ho Chi Rio temple and the and the development uh, of the legend of uh, finding a myth and also Islamic, uh, Islamic religious tourism in this Al-Quran Al-Akbar uh, located in Gandus and then um, Arab village is located in Maha Azhari and, and, and the culinary tourism that we in the city of Palembang, it is Palem, it is Tempeh. Okay. Talking about famous tourism, Tempeh is one of the culinary tour in the city of Palembang, and is already very well known by the talking about famous tourists. Tempeh is one of the local and international community because it tastes very delicious my question is what is Bintang respond to why tourist attraction in the city of Palembang are not as developed as in other cities um, okay in my opinion why are the tourist attraction less well now like other cities because uh, maybe in terms of promotion it is also lacking and uh, because if you only know and there is no promotional movement how can how can tourism in the city of Palembang be known to the wider community and also to local local and foreign then the next factor in my opinion uh, is the local people who don't care once again this is just my opinion not need to corner any particular party people who don't care that uh, who don't care that should participate in preserving but instead are the niche for example for example, the thing <laughs> like an alien berries, one of the icons of the city of Palembang, has um, has been lost either internationally, internationally uh, by irresponsible parties or due to accidents. Uh, from an economic point of view, Palembang is a city. Um, that is already well known uh, from the Sea Games and ASEAN Games held at Jakarta Sports City. The next factor is, I think, it is a close place factor. Um, so the so so that tourists don't know about this tourist attraction. Um, 
what we are doing here. Basically, what are the uh, expansion for tourists in this whole month city? Um, what? Expectation. Yes. Um, okay. My hope as a young generation born in the city of Palembang is eager to promote tourist attraction in the city of Palembang. Uh, so that to so that tourist destination in this city can develop uh, and be famous like in other cities. <coughs> Then I also hope that the people are preserving the tourist attraction in our city. If not us, who else? Uh, who else will make tourist attraction or tourist destination in the village city develop and become famous? Definitely. My advice to uh, for tourist attraction that are close or located in an area can be the uh, can be given a fairly large name size uh, so that uh, so that the place can be known by the public and the tourists. Okay. Thank you Inta for taking the time to be on our podcast. Hopefully our discussion today will be useful for use as well as viewers and listeners at home once again thank you for watching this channel thank you guys thank see you. you in the next podcast bye 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 bye, bye.